It's very clear in our large programs that we run that when you go in and interrogate what the ecosystem looks like, we're finding species that we would have historically thought to be what are called boreal species. So these are ones that are a little bit further south of the Arctic, the true Arctic species. And we've even, you know, people in the scientific literature have coined this the Atlantification of the Arctic on the Atlantic side and the Pacification of the Arctic on the Pacific side. And these are also happening in, for instance, Hudson Bay, where you have a very large uh, inland sea that has an annual ice cover on it. Well, that annual ice cover now stays off for a lot longer period of time than it used to, and there's a lot of species coming in there. And across all this sort of Arctic uh, scope, these Arctic species have adapted to take advantage of those very narrow niche pockets of how the sea ice evolves and how that sea ice season progresses. As we change that sea ice season, the Arctic species become less capable of competing relative to a boreal species because the boreal species is coming out of an environment where that condition has already been there for a very long period of time. So they're very effective at outcompeting the Arctic species as the sea ice changes, which is controlling the light, the heat, and the momentum. So it's not a surprise that this is happening. What's a surprise is that it's happening so quickly and it's happening at all the different trophic levels. So we're seeing invasive species right from the algae sides of things right up through the zooplankton and the phytoplankton. In, importantly to what we call the keystone species, which are ones that, that translate the energy from the lower trophic levels to the marine mammals. Things like capelin and arctic cod and stuff like that. So the capelin are displacing arctic cod in certain places. And that, of course, is showing up in the diets of the whales and ultimately to the polar bears and to the humans that are at the top of the food chain.